Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is very important stage for you attaining your dream job role. Myself, I'm Melu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies, which are also available at the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat commented below. And also in addition to that, I have also segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the complexity of the question and the paid membership questions of the LeetCode as premium playlist. And I have combined all the questions into one single playlist and I have ordered by the serial number wise as a all SQL playlist. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. The question which we are trying to solve it today is type easy question number 1251 average selling price. Let's see the question. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is also asked in Amazon for 1 to 2 years level. Okay. There is a table which is consisting of column names, product ID, start date, end date, price date. Okay. And their uh, respect to product ID purchase date. Okay. Write an SQL query to find the average selling price for each product. Average price should be rounded up to two decimal. Okay. They want average and also two decimal digits. Okay. They have given some example tables. Let's see it. Okay. Let's see. You can see these two tables are joined using product ID and product ID and there should be one more condition. This purchase date should be in this range between them. For example, product 1 is there. Okay. From the product 1's 2019 0 to 25 will be between which date to which date from 217 to 228 but not for this one so this row will be matched to this row during inner join let's see for the second row again 1 2019 okay one will not be matched with first row and second row it will be only matched with this row okay similarly for this row uh, 229 29 to 10 okay this will be matched between this row and this row and what is the other row This is the fourth column. You can see this is the column. Okay. These four columns, these four rows are joined to these four rows. Okay. Now, what is the price for each individual thing? Let's see it. For this one, it will be what? It will be 5 into 100 because units is 100. It is 500. Okay. For the first row. Second row again, 20 into 15. 20 into 15 something 300 similarly for the third row 15 into 200 something 3 3000 okay similarly for the fourth row what is the total price for each quantity 30 into 30 it will be what 900 now what we got is the total price for each row now what they're asking is per product what is the average price product now what we done first we have joined by this product id and we have checked whether the purchase date is between these two ranges if it is matching we are calculating total value as units into price now what we need to do is we need to group by product let's say for product what are the two values 500 and 300 so it should be the sum of prices by number of items what are the number of items for 100 plus 150 115 okay if you do 800 by 115 you will get 6.1696 as answer that is what you are seeing here similarly for the product 2 
what are the values you got product to 3000 plus 900 what are the products which are there 200 plus 30 it will be something 3900 by 230 if you multiply it you will get 16.196 that is what you got answer as so what we need to do we need to join these tables using inner join such that it is matched using product id and purchase date it is between the ranges after that we need to calculate price into unit as some new price after that we need to group by product id and we need to do this sum of this one by sum of units let's calculate it from prices and not join unit sold uh, let's call it A let's call it B how we are joining if you see how we are joining by product ID and product ID A dot product ID equal to B dot product ID and what is the second condition B dot purchase date should be between these two ranges and B dot purchase date should be greater than A dot start date and b dot purchase date should be less than a dot end date okay now we filtered for these things and we got everything now what we required product id and all these rows and price of these things now let's take okay let's group by them as we got already this one let's group by product ID because we have joined all of them we want product ID and we want what sum of total units into price by which is what we are doing here units into price is 100 into 5 plus 3 into uh, where is this one yeah, 20 into 50 units into price by only sum of units by only sum of units yeah let's call it as some average price okay if you do division in mysql it will return an integer we want a flow decimal number so multiply with 1.0 run it uh, there is nothing called product ID okay we want product ID from a table okay here also a by a dot product ID it is saying wrong answer let us see Sorry, we need to multiply inside this, I think. Not here. Yeah. Uh, what else we are getting issue? One minute. Uh, Okay, it should be containing both these things equal to less than equal to yes uh, now what we okay we need to round it off to two digits only let's keep round off only two decimal digits let's run it Uh, 
I think it got accepted. Yes, let's submit it. Yes, all the test cases are successfully passed. Thanks for watching my videos. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your study partner or colleagues whom they are preparing for data scientist or data analyst interviews. Just be disciplined, complete all the videos which are there in my playlist and try to give your best. Thanks for joining and watching my videos.